All right, guys. So I got a few emails stating that they did the, all the proper necessary steps to actually get accounts removed. But some of you guys are still getting the, oh, it's verified response. And I don't want you guys to give up or anything like that. It's not the end of the road when they do that. I promise you. I'm going to show you right now how you can still delete that verified account. Okay. So enough rambling. Let's go ahead. Let's dive in. So I know a lot of people are following me step by step, but they still add their own little twist to it, thinking that it will get it all faster because they seen it on TikTok or things that their homeboy did it or things of that nature. Um, so with that being said, if you dispute online nine times out of 10, it is going to come back verified or reinstated back on your credit report. You have to stop doing it. It's very crucial on how you dispute these accounts, all right? But again, this is not the end, but just stop doing that. I've never talked about doing that, so stop doing that. So a lot of times when the credit bureaus state that something came back verified, they actually didn't take all the proper necessary steps that they were supposed to within the consumer law to make sure that it's actually verified. A lot of times it was eOscar or somebody that just seen they stamped it and said, oh, it's verified. So this is where you technically have leverage over them and you have a one up. And I'm gonna explain. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna show them how these accounts are not complying with the accuracy of your credit report. Cause again, like I stated before, everything has to be 100% accurate. And because how the credit bureaus are set up, like I stated, most of the time, they do not take the proper necessary steps on your credit report. So it's up to you to actually get this removed. And again, if you actually don't wanna do this all by yourself and you don't wanna click through all of my videos, click the link in my description and in my bio on my actual page and I have eBooks and I have consultations set up so you can actually help get these removed. If you need a one-on-one -on -one or if you need my eBook that actually gets it done, a lot of people have gotten crazy results on my eBooks and consultations. Use those links as well to actually speed up the process so you can go ahead and get this 800 credit score, all right? But so to make sure that they actually do what they're supposed to do, go to your consumer law, and this is the law that you're gonna use, 15 USC 1681I. A, A is an apple. I'm telling you, you don't have to remember that. Just write that down, 15 U.S.C. 1681 I.A. And it states, real quick, a consumer report or portion thereof in which the information on a consumer character, general reputation, personal characteristics, or mode of living is obtained through personal interviews with neighbors, friends, or associates of the consumer reported on or with the others whom he or she is acquainted. Now, however, such information shall not include specific factual information on a consumer credit record obtained directly from a creditor of the consumer or from a consumer reporting agency when such information was obtained directly from a creditor of the consumer or from the consumer. So all of this jargon basically means that you told the creditors to do an investigation and possibly, if need be, to include family and friends, if necessary, regarding the actual account, not including proof of investigation. They did none of that. Now they must delete the account because now you have leverage. They did not comply with the actual consumer law that's in your best interest. Some people in the credit report agencies actually comply with this, but a lot of people actually don't. Remember, these people are just punching in and out of a clock as well. They really don't wanna go through the limbs. That's why I say it's always in your best interest. And that's where you actually hit them back with the actual law itself stating that you didn't comply with this and you must delete the account. They have to comply with this, all three of them, TransUnion, Equifax and Experian. You have the leg up on them and you're going to get it removed. But let's just say that they don't actually remove it right then and there. You still have the leg up on them. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna submit a complaint to the CFPB. And the CFPB is the actual ones that sit above all of the actual credit bureaus, no matter if it's all three credit bureaus, secondary credit bureaus, all of them, and they have to actually answer to them. Any complaint that comes from them, they have to comply. Because if not, this is where the suing comes in and we start getting money for all of the pain and suffering that they caused on us. So again, this is where you're going to submit the complaint to the CFPB and get those accounts removed because those guys did. And if you need a video on how to actually file a complaint with them, let me know and I will create one. I promise you, it's very easy and it's very self-explanatory. I promise you, you just go step by step by step. It's very simple. But let's hope that it doesn't get there. And once you actually send your rebuttal stating that you didn't actually comply credit bureaus with what you were supposed to do, they will actually delete the account. But again, it doesn't hurt to file a complaint with the CFPB.
So remember, you as a consumer have the right to actually not be taken advantage of and use the law to actually help you get these negative accounts removed off your credit report. Just because it's verified doesn't mean it's accurate, all right? I do hope these videos help you and get these negatives off your account. So follow these steps, all right? And I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And until next time, ladies and gents.